Quoting Madame Carl's brothel and ask for whistling Wendy. The madam will take you to her tent and leave you alone. Wendy will ask what you wish. Tell her you want her smile to open the gates of paradise. Huh? Audrin, shut it. Geralt's like a brother. I'll keep no secrets from him. Who are you talking about? The knave, greedy and cruel. Kills for pleasure. A son of a bitch is magic armor and plays tough. Thought he could do what he pleased until he caught Death Mole's eye. Now he's hiding. Too bad about them other lads. If Trot's caught, he'll give them all up. Heads will roll, I'd say yeah. Some peoples have come together to plot. They wanted me to join them, but I was too busy. And I don't trust this Trot. Them other coiners is all right. But Vincent's a greedy sadist. Where can I find them? What you mean, where? The brothel, of course. Ask for whistling Wendy. I'm not looking for a whore. Once you have her, pay attention now. Tell her you want her smile to open the gates of paradise. Get it right? <laughs> Except you won't get the fucker then. Ah, and give her this. I've no use for this coin. Won't buy me no beer. Wendy'll take you to them coiners. I fought the Nilf guy. I see you finally decided to relax. Have I ever told you I think you lead a very unhealthy life? You've mentioned it. Evidently not enough for you to take it to heart. Anyway, the whores are quite decent here. Maybe some other time. You worry me. I wonder what Sheila's doing in Henselt's camp. You're not alone, because she's wondering what you're doing at the King's side. How do you know? She asked me about you. What did she want to know? I have no idea. I realized right off she was sniffing, and told her she could smell my fingers if she wanted. That'd be all she'd get. And she gave up. Mm-hmm. See how careful I am? Have you tried to, uh, approach Vess? I've thought about it. On the one hand, I've never rogered a soldier. But on the other, the clean clang of steel against steel at an intimate moment could put off even the most attentive lover. Why do you ask? I'd just like to know. Heard anything about Letho? They say he's hiding in the ravines. He's not alone. I know. I fail to comprehend exactly why you have it in for him. He escaped, so what? You're no king, and as such are hardly in danger. I'm tired of having to explain that I'm not the Kingslayer. Hensel believed you. But he's still not sure, and I don't want him doing me any favors. Let's say you catch him. What then? I'll decide once I've heard him out, learned the truth. Maybe I'll see his point, or maybe I'll just cut off his head. Henselt's camp is abuzz with rumors about the events three years ago. When you burn a sorceress at the stake, rumors spread faster than the seed of a lascivious baron. I know you primarily value sorceresses for their firm busts, but I'm curious. What do you think of Sabrina Glevisig? Sorceresses complain about feeling underappreciated, persecuted even. But let me tell you, Geralt, you live by the sword, you die by the sword. If they didn't meddle, they wouldn't be burned at the stake. They keep whining about the horrors that took place on Thanet Island, about the order of the world being destroyed. But let me ask you, who brought that about if not them and their scheming? My memories and feelings seem inextricably linked. I seem to be recovering both. I believe Yennefer's alive and I'll eventually find her. Triss, Yennefer, that's some life you lead, my friend. First off, we have no idea if Yennefer's still alive. Second, we have no idea if Triss is alive. Hmm, true. You seem to have two women, when in fact, you don't even have one. Their kind doesn't die easily. I'll find Triss as soon as I've dealt with the assassin. What about Yennefer? I won't know what to do about her until I see her. Greetings, Geralt, in these humble foreign walls. Greetings. My heart rejoiced to see that dear old noggin of yours emerge from a sea of unknown faces. 
I see you prefer the company of Vernon and his men. The soldier in Hensel's camp looks at me like I'm a lump of rotten wheat. Do you think they suspect you of being a spy? Who the fuck knows what's in their bloody heads? You know what? I regret I'm not a spy. I feel like the last bloody cunt here. Somewhere nearby, my brethren are sharpening their axes, just waiting for the fog to dissipate so they can blunt them on some kid when he necks. You've been around. Heard anything about the Kingslayer? Just that Henseld is shitting himself for fear that his head is about to be separated from his shoulders. For me, the assassin's hiding out in the ravines. An ideal place for his kind. Anyway, I've been wondering, why the fuck do you care so much about this cunt that you're so ready to stick your neck out to find him? Because I'm innocent. The wise know that. And I didn't think you'd trouble yourself about what the fools think. As long as Letho is free, I'll remain a suspect. I can only prove my innocence by presenting the culprit. No other way. What will you do when you find him? We'll see when I talk to him, when I learn the truth. Maybe I'll see his point, and maybe I'll just cut off his head. All rested after the boat trip? Don't remind me of that. My stomach chums at the very thought. You could have traveled here on foot. If I'd known it before days of rocking, I would have! And if they told me I'd be eating dried and salted cord three times a day, I'd have clobbered myself with my own hammer before boarding that boat! You're spending all your time in Roach's camp. Have you two become chums? Chums? That's a bit rich. But he doesn't piss me off as much as he used to. Either he's changed or I've grown accustomed. Maybe both. Maybe. Besides, the camp has loads of other attractions. His men cheat me at cards and there's a tit or two to hang the gaze upon. If that's what you're after, there's a regular whorehouse in Hensel's camp. How can you compare a whore's tit to Vessie's? I could buy myself the others, but hers are just to be admired. We should have our sea, take an interest in things, or it will turn out like... Well, well, a witcher. Girls, prim yourselves. How can I help you, Hamson? I wanted to talk. We're no strangers to the art of conversation, but it'll cost you just as much as a good plough. Sounds all right. Ask away, then. What would you like to talk about? Anything interesting going on in the camp? Soldiers are scared shitless, what with this battle approaching. They'd rather drink themselves silly than let us honest whores make some coin. Is that interesting? I doubt it. Not raring to fight, are they? They might have been eager at first, but the longer we sit here, the less lively they become. Fighting's like ploughing. Lust for one, and you lust for the other. I wouldn't mind knowing what you think of Henselt. I'm a madam. What can I know about the king? I seem to remember that madams and innkeepers know everything. He used to come here to plough, to develop a camaraderie with the fighting men like, but that was just a phase. Most likely only ploughs sweet smelling ladies now. Heard of the Virgin of Edern? Hasn't everyone. Any thoughts? Oh yes, a maturing woman like that never been ploughed her head's bound to be muddled. We'll have peace when she drops her sword to grab a nice healthy prick instead. I'm looking for a whore. We've got plenty of those you'll be glad to hear. But you'll need to show me your coin before you choose one. We all have our principles. Well, these are my girls. Choose, white-haired one. I've heard good things about whistling Wendy. At your service. My prettiest girl, tis true. Fool soldiers gave her that stupid nickname. Tidy yourself, Wendy. Witcher on the way. Come on in. What do you desire, my hero? I want your smile to part the gates of paradise. Come with me.
Vincent Trot. You're a little elusive. Here alone? Not wise, Witcher. We'll see about that. I'm wearing Selkirk's armor, you know. Pretty much renders me invincible in a duel. I didn't know you had Selkirk's armor. I guess that changes things. <laughs> if you think we're willing to let you go, or that you can escape through magic trickery of some sort. Relax. I'm not going anywhere. Give me the chainmail and I'll forget everything. Whistling Wendy, your plot. I know about the coins. Your death mole's hound. I don't trust you. You don't need to. I just need the chainmail. Not interested in anything else. I'm to remove it. And hand it over. Then you'll be on your way. And all will be well. Doesn't sound like my kind of story. How's this instead? I'll kill you, take your swords and gold, and the gods will rain good fortune upon me for ridding them of a filthy mutant. Die! Spy! Kill him! to the people of Kedwin. A letter? Hmm, so? It's your drivel, idiot. Where'd you get that idea? I know you. Not to mention you had the gall to quote me. You're not the only witcher in the world. So, you admit it's yours? Sure it's mine. People have had enough of that pompous clown colluding with Nilfgaard. I decided I needed to open their eyes a little wider. Any idea what that pompous clown's going to do when he finds out who's opening his people's eyes? How would he find out? It could only come from you, and I assume, at least I hope, you won't rat me out. They're going to kill you. Nah. Why did you poke your nose in this? Henselt approached me to write a few panegyrics about him. You know, singing his praises? Can you imagine that? Me? Writing a political pamphlet? Who the hell does he think I am? But that's exactly what this letter is. Possibly. But it's for a good cause. Henselt's a prick. Meet your match. We need to talk. What? No, hello. Good morning. Pucker up and kiss my ass. Nothing. Uh, hello. Good morning, White Wolf. Will you take some tea? It's a fortifying beverage. Some other time, maybe. You must know a lot about the Wild Hunt, as one of the reigning majesties among mages. Oh, I simply cannot concern myself with folk tales about corpses flying about on intensely emaciated steeds. The Wild Hunt's no myth. I found Trot and a few other enthusiasts of the Square Coins. Did you learn who leads them? No. Any survivors? No. Oh, you might at least have spared Trot. I'm sure he had secrets. I'm afraid he took those with him. There was a reward on the conspirators' heads. Do you wish to collect, or is it beneath your witcher's dignity? I could use the gold. How many were there? Vincent and five others. You killed six men! You and your kind should be isolated. The reward? Is yours. Here, 